Today on Horseland, Molly must overcome her greatest fear when Sarah's horse is trapped in the hills with a deadly illness. You've got to ride! Hello there. Welcome to Horseland, where there's always something going on. Yeah. Oh, so much activity, a cat can't even take a nap in peace. Lighten up, Angora. It's beautiful outside. What's so beautiful about a big mud puddle right in my way? So go through it. You've got to be kidding. It's just a little mud. Come on, Frady Cat. Give it a try. Think I can't? Watch this. <laughs> Showed you. Hi, Shep. Nice day, isn't it? Ooh, that looks messy. It's just mud, Teeny. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of mud. I just don't like it much. Nope, not my kind of thing. Nothing wrong with having fears. Everyone faces challenges at some point in their life. It's how you handle it that counts. Reminds me of a time Molly had to face her fears. You got it, Molly? Yeah, almost there. Jumps are almost ready. Got it. That's the last pole. There's still one more we have to get. Typical. Chloe and Zoe sitting out all the hard work. What's up, Shep? What's all the commotion? The place is really jumping today. You think it's jumping now? Just wait till later. The kids are getting ready for our jumping competition. If they're not careful, it's gonna be a falling competition. <laughs> Angora, don't be so catty. Listen, you know it and I know it. Where there's jumping, there's falling. Sounds like the horses know something's up. I love jumping competitions. Going over those hurdles, feeling the wind in your mane. It's a real rush. I can't wait. Don't get too carried away, Aztec. If anybody here is gonna win the competition, it'll be me. Nothing wrong with Chili's self-confidence. Yeah, budden. But I wish I could say the same for Molly. We haven't done much jumping together. I think she may be afraid, and that frightens me. Oh, Calypso, she'll do fine, right, Scarlet? Oh, I just hope I don't let down Sarah. Who wants to go first? Not me. I'll go. <laughs> hey, Scarlet! How's my girl? Ready to do some jumping? Listen up, everyone. These are all the different types of obstacles you will be asked to jump at the competition. We've got a gate, a fence, some parallel bars, and an oxer, which is the combination of a hedge and railing. Uh, in case you've forgotten, we helped set them up. <laughs> and you did a fine job. Now, let's learn how to jump over them. Bailey, why don't you go first? Way to go, Bailey. Let's see you jump Aztec over this low fence here. All right, Bailey! Nice one, Bravo, Bailey. Bailey! Big deal. Even I could jump that. With Bailey on your back? That's not the point. Chloe, were you watching Bailey? Always. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Now, can you tell me anything about his jumping technique? Well... He approached the fence at a canter. When it was time to jump, he kept his heels down, and he leaned forward just a little bit and pushed back. So his back matched the angle of Aztec's back. A flawless jump. That was great, Chloe. You were absolutely right. So, Chloe was watching Bailey, but where was Bailey looking? Where was he looking? 
Hmm. At the fence. That's right. He looked straight ahead between Aztec's ears at the fence and beyond it to where he wanted to land. Uh -huh. Everybody got that so far? Okay, so why don't we all take turns? Who wants to go next? I'll go. You think he did a good job? Wait till you see me. Okay, boredom setting in. Anybody want to go bat a ball of yarn around? No, I want to watch the kids jump. Yeah, me too. Fine, see if I care. Great job, Zoe. Told ya. Okay, Alma. You want to take a turn? Uh, see. Si. I mean, I guess I do. You'll be great. Great job, Alma. Excellent. You did it, girlfriend. That was the best yet. You and Button really work well together. The best yet? I don't think so. Don't worry, sis. I'll get the family honor back. Hey, Will, me next. Go for it. <gasps> you okay, girl? So that was a point deduction for Chloe and Chili right there. Anybody know what Chloe did wrong? She didn't look straight ahead. Zoe's right. When Chloe looked down, it shifted her weight forward, which then moved Chili's weight forward too. That's something we all need to remember. Jumping is about working together with your horse. Molly, you want to go next? We can do this, girl. We can do it. I did better than that. Did I call it when I said it'd be a falling competition? Molly, you okay? Uh, uh, Molly! Uh. Guys, don't move her. Molly, are you all right? <gasps> Molly, speak to us. <coughs> I just got the breath knocked out of me. Molly, you want to try it again? The others can go. You and Scarlet haven't tried, Sarah. Sure, we'll go. Something's wrong with Scarlet. Howdy, Angora. Tina, I see they're still working on their jumps. Everyone except for Molly and Calypso. Two whole days and she won't even get back on Calypso. Saddles are up, but won't get on to ride her. But why not? She's scared, I guess. Humans call it fear of falling. I like cats. Right. I wonder how Calypso's taking it. It was my fault. I know it was. She got scared, and then I got scared, and... It wasn't you, Calypso. Sometimes your rider falls. You just have to... Oh, oh. Scarlet, what's wrong with you? It's nothing. Oh, really? Hey, Sarah. You're looking really good out there. You'll do great in the competition. I just know it. Molly, you still got a day to practice. You could... I'm not entering. You got that? Fine. I'm sorry. In fact, I might never enter a competition ever again. Molly, I'm sorry. Molly, I didn't mean... I'm your big sister. My horse should get the best spot.
Yeah, well, you stole Chili's best bridle. Did not. Did too. I'm not even getting in the middle of that. So, that's what you get for always Bicker, the bicker. Glory and Zoe sure love to bicker. Oh, teeny. Arguments are the spice of life. Why, if everyone got along, just think how boring it would be. Frankly, I'd rather be bored. If those two don't hurry up, we're all going to be late. Take a number, Sarah. The Squabble Sisters are at it again. Where's your beautiful horse, Sarah? Yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I'm not going. Are you kidding? Uh, Sarah, you're not going? Really? Cool. Enough, you two. Sarah, por qué? You don't feel well? No, I just... I've decided I'm going to get Molly riding again. Wow. Caramba! Do you want me to stay too? That's okay. I think I can handle it. I may not be able to ride anymore, but I can still muck out a stall with the best. Good. They've left. No chance of me going now. Huh? Sarah, why didn't you go to the competition? Because I'd rather go for a ride with you. Yeah? Well, it's not going to happen. Molly, wait! You think she can talk Molly into going? I... I hope so. Oh, oh. Scarlet, what is going on with you? Where does it hurt? I don't want to talk about it, and I don't want Sarah to know. Molly. What? I really don't think you should give up so easily. Have you ever fallen off your horse and landed so hard you couldn't breathe? It's really scary. I know, but I just think you need to face your fear. Oh, what do you know about it? Have you ever been really scared of anything? As a matter of fact, I have. I was always late for school because I was so afraid of this one dog. I didn't want to walk past his house. Not even on the other side of the street. So I always took the long way around. But then my teacher said one more tardy and I'd be in big trouble. If I kept being late, I knew I'd have to take our limo to school. I didn't want the other kids to think I was a snob, so I decided I had to face my fears. It's okay, Sarah. I'm right here if you need me. Thanks, Dad. I'm gonna do it. I walked past that rattling gate and got my courage up, and that big, vicious dog turned out to be a little white poodle with a really enormous bark. <laughs> Great story. I'll remember it the next time I'm scared by a puppy. Look, all I'm saying is... You can't overcome your fears if you don't face them. How about we just walk our horses in the pasture? If you don't want to ride, you don't have to. Okay, but just a walk. It's pretty out here. Uh-huh. So, ready to give it a try, Molly? Not yet. Really? We've been walking for a long time. Don't you want to ride for a while? It's easy, remember? <laughs> what is it, girl? What hurts? <laughs> oh, dear. It sounds like colic and obstruction in her abdomen. That can be really serious. Should we start back? I can't ride her like this. I don't think I should even walk her that far. Molly, you're Scarlet's only hope. You've got to get the vet and fast. You've got to ride. <laughs> this some kind of joke? This is no joke, Molly. You know what colic can do. Look at her. Oh, Scarlet! She might even need an operation. Scarlet has to see a vet. Now! Oh, Scarlet! Molly, please! I'm... I'm so afraid for her! <laughs> okay, I'll go. I mean, we'll go. You will? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Try not to worry. It's going to be okay. Calypso and I will make sure of it. Okay, here goes nothing. 
Dr. Martin is due east from here. I know, Sarah. We'll get him. You can count on us. I know we can. Help's on the way, girl. Okay, girl. We've got to face our fears. Face our fears. Face our fears. Shh, girl. Just relax. Does that feel good? This massage is supposed to keep you from going into shock. That's it. The vet's on the way. <laughs> Scarlet, are you afraid of the vet? <coughs> There's nothing to be afraid of, girl. It's going to be okay. Well, girl, no sign of a gate. Guess we don't have much of a choice, do we? We can do this. We can do this. Look straight ahead. Heels down. Lean forward, seat back. We did it, girl! We really did it! Now to get Dr. Martin. Good job, girl. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> and thanks for bearing with me. She did it! Molly did it! Here comes the vet! <laughs> Shh, hush now, Scarlet. It's time for you to face your fears. Just like I told Molly, you can do it. You can let the vet help you. And then Molly and Calypso got the vet, and he brought Scarlet back here in his van. You guys sure missed out on all the excitement. You're the one who missed all the excitement, dog breath. We ruled at the competition. More ribbons for Horseland! Well, excuse me. I guess winning a couple of colored ribbons is more important than Scarlet almost dying. Oh, oh, oh! Calypso was really heroic! She saved Scarlet! She was a hero! She saved her life! No, I didn't. The vet did. Yes, but the vet wouldn't have gotten there in time if it hadn't been for you. Thank you, Calypso. I never should have tried to keep my pain a secret from everyone. All I did was suffer more, and I ended up having to see the vet anyway. Enough about Scarlet and Calypso! Did they win ribbons? No! Will you two give it a rest? It's not like you took the blue ribbon. Aztec did. That's great! Why didn't you tell us? It's not a big deal. If you ask me, Calypso and Molly are the heroes of the day. I'm telling you, this girl was amazing. Thanks, Molly. You're the best. Sarah, you're the one who helped me face my fear. I know that I'll be frightened of other things, too. But maybe next time, I'll be able to handle it better. Yeah, very touching. I'm so touched it makes me want to face one of my fears. Uh... Okay. It's good to hear you positive again, Molly. <laughs> hey, Chloe, was that one of your fears? <laughs> <laughs> Great job! Yeah, all right, you're getting better, that Molly. Was excellent, Molly! Bravo, Molly! Molly sure has learned how to jump, hasn't 
safe. She's learned more than that. Now she knows what to do when she's afraid. Oh, that's great. Me too, me too. From now on, I'm gonna face my fears. Good thinking, so am I. You mean you agree with something I said? Yep, because the one thing I fear most is you stepping on my tail again. But as long as I face you, you can't do it. Ouch. Looks like she's going to have to face both ways at once. Right, Angora? Very funny. I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs>